Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm in some hedgerows in England to show you guys what berries you can forage at this time of year because there are all sorts of fruits in late summer and early autumn. But before I continue, I'm gonna change locations because there's a really noisy vehicle in that field. I brought my basket with me today and as you can see right now it's empty but by the end of this video it's going to be full with all sorts of wild fruits and berries. So our first wild fruit that I'm going to show you guys today is up here and here we have crab apples. Now some of these aren't looking amazing and they're quite small but crab apples are sort of cooking apples they're often too bitter to enjoy you have to cook them up first but they do grow wild as I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware so I'm going to gather up some of these I know it's crab apple by the apple shaped fruits and these leaves right here a good way to spot crab apples is the uh, you can often find them on the floor much before you see them on the tree you wouldn't want to pick this one here is a much better example of crab apples to show you guys. You can see up there those red and green crab apples. I can't reach these, I'm not going to take any, but these are a much better example to show you guys. These are much larger. Crab apples are often known for their bitterness, but not all of them are as bitter as others. So a good way to test that, if you're sure it's crab apple, let's get a tiny nibble. These aren't that bad actually. The next berry I'm going to talk about today are slow berries or blackthorn berries. Now these are dark blue round berries and they're often too bitter to eat raw, so people often make them into gins. It has these leaves here which are sort of very small and elongated. And they're a very dark green colour. Now these are really common in hedgerow areas. I apologise for the machine noise over there. These are very common in hedgerow areas like this. And once you start finding them, they're actually everywhere. So it's very easy to fill up a basket full of these. A lot of you guys might be confused as to the difference between blackthorn slowberries and damsons. Well, slowberries are a lot more short and circular. Damsons are a lot more elongated. Also, the blackthorn, the slow, has thorns on the bark. So that is a really good way to tell it apart because black thorn, thorns on the bark. This is a yew tree and here we have yew berries. Now yew berries are technically edible, the red outer flesh, not the seed, the seed is highly toxic, as is the whole tree. You could technically eat the red flesh around the seed, although it is not recommended and please do not do this. But just for harm reduction's sake, if anybody does eat these, and you shouldn't, then you should remove the seed inside first. I'm sure a lot of you have been told to never eat red berries, and that is true in a lot of cases, but it is also untrue in a lot of cases. Here are hawthorn berries, and these are amazingly tasty berries. I know it's hawthorn because of these red berries and the star-shaped pattern on it. I also know it's hawthorn because of the leaves. These are what the leaves look like. They're very distinctive when talking about hawthorn. And these red berries are very abundant. I will not be foraging any hawthorns today because I was recently out and I foraged a kilogram of rose hips and hawthorn to make hawthorn ketchup and rose hip syrup. 
Uh, Hawthorne ketchup I really recommend. I'll link an amazing recipe from UK Wildcrafts down in the description. It's a really amazing uh, thing to do in your free time and it tastes amazing. Some amazing looking red, deep red hawthorn berries. But then up here we've got some not so red looking hawthorn berries. Don't go for these, go for the juicy red looking ones. And there's no shortage of them this time of year. I'm sure most of you guys will be familiar with these. These are blackberries and they provide an amazing shelter for animals. It's a very thick bush with these thick spikes on it. And you can see that there are some red and some black. You'll only want to pick the black ones because they're ripe. These are unripe. They go from green to red to black. You can see just down here, this was, this one is going from green to red there. Unique identifier is the uh, spines on the underside of the leaf there. Blackberries are great for jams and jellies. They're very tarty, very sweet. You can even eat them raw off the, off the bush as you're walking on your trail. Next up we have rosehip berries. And these are the berries of the dog rose plant. And you can see all these really sharp menacing looking thorns on them but these are the rose hips and inside is a powder and seeds and these this sort of hair has been used as an itching powder fun fact but these are edible and i gathered quite a few of these recently to make rose hip syrup which is something i'd recommend the leaves look like this and there are also flowers earlier on in the year but I won't be getting any of these today because I've already got some at home by the way someone commented on one of my videos saying they want a video on acorns and don't worry that video is going to come shortly I need to film it first <laughs> I was hoping to find damsons today actually because I was going to uh, make a jelly but unfortunately I haven't found any damsons today so I can't uh, put that in the video which is a real shame uh, but thank you everybody very much for watching I hope you've learned something new as always and I'll see you next Friday